Hi, Sabrina here with another tutorial for you and this is going to be my infinity scarf. Now this scarf um, goes both ways and if you guys seen any of my videos you guys will see these. Um, you can wear it as a scarf or you can wear it as a curl. Um, pretty much we're just adding two buttons so it can turn into the curl. Um, it is very very simple to make and any beginner crocheter can make this. Um, and let's just get started, okay? I'm going to be using this type of yarn here, which is Red Heart with Love. It's very soft yarn. It's almost like Simply Soft. It's very, very soft, but it's a thick, worse weight yarn, which I like to use. For this project, you could use any type of yarn you prefer. I'm preferring this one for myself right now because I'm making this um, for a customer, and they really like this yarn. Um, they like the way it feels around their neck. It's very soft. Um, the color I am using here is going to be a gray and is called Pretur. And um, I'm going to be using this kind of yarn. So let me put that to the side. We're going to be using an eye hook, a 5.5 millimeter hook. We are going to be needing buttons for this project. And I'll probably be going with these or some nice big white ones. But pretty much any type of button will work. Two buttons I prefer to use. And that's pretty, oh, and a temperance needle of course. We're going to be needing one of these to sew in our ends. Now, let's get started. To get started, and yes, my yarn is all unraveled here. Happens to us when things fall. Falls right out of the middle and I hate that. So just give me a minute to find the end. I think I did find it. Yes, I did. Okay. We're going to start by making a slip knot. You're going to wrap the yarn over your fingers twice, tuck it behind the, the other yarn, and bring it over your two fingers. Put your hook right in there and release your fingers out of there and put it on the hook. There's your slip knot. We are going to chain up 165 chains. Yes, 165 chains. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
Okay, that's 165. Right here. That's 165 chains. What we're going to do now is you're going to wrap the yarn over your hook. We're going to the fourth from the hook. So we're going to go one, two, three, four in the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. This is our fourth one from the hook. You're going to go into that stitch, pull your yarn through, wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. We just did a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Now what we're going to do is put a double crochet in every stitch all the way down, in every chain. So what we're going to do is wrap the yarn over, go in the next stitch over, wrap the yarn over, go through two, wrap the yarn over, go through two. There's our next double crochet. Wrap the yarn over, go in the next stitch over, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Now, we are going to be doing double crochets all along the whole chain to the end. So I want you to do yours all the way to the end and I'll meet you there. Okay, I've gone ahead and did all my, all the way to the end, and I'm on my last one, and the last one you're just going to double crochet right in there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain up three, one, two, and three. We're going to 
turn our work around. You want a half and you want a double crochet in the first stitch where you have the chain three at that very first stitch. So wrap the yarn over, go into that first stitch, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. So there's your first stitch. And by doing this, we allow it to be straight on this side. If you don't do it, what happens? It's going to keep on turning and turning and turning. So now we're going to just double crochet in each of the stitches all the way back to the other end. And I will meet you there. We are just double crocheting all the way in the stitches all the way back to the other end of this. 160 stitches. Okay, here I am. I'm at the end here. I have one more to do. So I'm going to double crochet in the last one. Now, what you're going to do is, oops, got a little bit of tangle. There we go. You're going to chain up three. One, two, three. You're going to turn your work around double crochet in the first one where the chain three is at this is not the first one this is the first one it looks like it's coming out right here at the very end you want to get that part double crochet in there and double crochet in every stitch going right back to the other end so we're going to double crochet in each of the stitches going right back to the other end And I'll meet you there to the other side. It'll take a while to get there. <laughs> well, not that long. Should be already getting the hang of doing the double crochets by now. Where you get faster and faster. The more practice you get. And I'll meet you at the other end. We're almost there. So here I am at the end. I got one more to do. And I'm doing it now. We're going to chain up three. One, two, three. Turn your work around. Which is a lot of work. Double crochet in the first part where the chain is at. Which is this first one. Not here, but here. You want to go right in there. And double crochet. And we are now going to double crochet all the way back again. Yes. Back and forth. Just like doing a blanket. Um, so we're going to do this all the way to the end. And we're going to repeat it again by chaining up three and turning back. And I will do that with you. So here I am double crocheting and each of the stitches and I'll meet you at the other side of this row and we are row one two three four on row four right now so continue crocheting all the way across and I will meet you there okay I'm on my last one And I'm double crocheting in there. Now you want to chain up three. One, two, three. Turn your work around. Now you're going to double crochet in the same part where you have the chain one at. And double crochet all the way down. To the very end. Now when we get to the end we're gonna stop. This is our last row for this part and, and then we're gonna do the fancy work. So double crochet all the way to the end and I'll meet you back here so we can do the fancy stuff on the sides to make this look very pretty. The lace work on the sides. So, 
And let's just double crochet all the way to the end here. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, here I am. I finished my last row. Now I'm going to double crochet in the last stitch that I have here. And we are not going to chain up one because I'm going to finish off here. If you want yours to be thicker, you can go up to another row. Um, but we are going to be doing shells along the sides, so it will be increasing uh, the width about both sides around from here to my finger on each side. You can imagine two double crochet, two rows on each side. So you're going to be going up about that much of the, the whole scarf itself about two more inches um, so just so you know so in case you wanted to add another row if you want it thicker you can or you can even go really thick if you like that um, but I'm basically gonna keep it right here and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work along the edging of the very top here and here is our first double crochet here and then we have another double crochet there, another double crochet, another double crochet, and another double crochet. We are going to be working on the second one, not the first one, the second one. So we're going to go in the second one, we're going to wrap the yarn around and go into that second um, double crochet and we're going right into the space around the post. And we are going to double crochet five times in that same space. So that's one. We're going to go right back in again. Do another one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now the next um, double crochet right here, the post, we're going to just single crochet. Now we're going to move along to the next post right here and we're going to do five double crochets into that post, in that space. One, two, three, four and five. Our last double crochet at the very very end just single crochet into that space just like so. And this is how it should look at the ends and this is where we're going to be putting our um, buttons or this will be the opening for the buttons. We're going to do the same thing to the other side so you can choose whichever side you like most. So this is the size of the button you want which is a fairly good size. I can't really say how many millimeters this is. I think it's about 20, maybe 30 millimeters, but it's not that big. As you can see, I'm using the 5.5 millimeter hook and it's bigger than that, so. And if I take out my nine millimeter hook, it's still bigger. That's like the same size as the center here. So I believe this is a 20 millimeter hook, I mean um, button. So you want a good size button on here. You don't want nothing small. You want it to hold the whole um, scarf together when you have it around your neck. So along the sides here, we're going to continue. We are now going to be working along the sides and we are going to be going into the in between the spaces of the double crochets just like we did on the ends here but our double crochets are up not sideways so what we're going to do here is in our next double crochet we already put a single crochet in this space we're going to move along to the next space and put five double crochets into that space 
So you're going right into that space and putting one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets, four double crochets, and five double crochets. Now our next post, you're just going to single crochet into that post. And we're going to repeat that all the way down. <coughs> Excuse me. The next one, you want to put one, I'm sorry, instead of single crocheting into the next post, you're going to skip the next space and move to the next one. That's what you're going to do on this side. See how it comes out? So it's going to have two in here. So you're going to skip a space, move to the next, and single crochet. I hope you understand that. I'm going to show you again how to do it. We're going to go into our next, we're going to skip two. So we're, this is two single crochet poses. We're going to skip two of them. That's one, that's two. We're going in the second one over here. And we're going to double crochet five times into that space. One. Two, three, four, and five. Skip two again and single crochet in the second post. <coughs> the second space. So it'll look like this. And we're going to continue that all the way around. Skip two move to the second space five double crochets into that space one two three four and five skip two and single crochet in the next and repeat the same pattern all the way down. I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm already at my end here. As you can see here, we already gone all the way down and oh my God, it looks so very beautiful. And I'm at the very end here. You're gonna skip two of the double crochet and go right into that space and do your five double crochets at the end. One, two, three, four and five. You're going to skip two, single crochet in the very last one. Now we're going to be working along this side. If you guys remember how to do this again, we are going to skip this space right here and we're going to move to this space right in the middle here. I hope you can see this. There's one, two, three, four, five spaces here. And we're going to go right into this one right here. It's right in between. And we're going to do our five double crochets in there. So wrap your yarn over your hook, go into that space, and put your five double um, crochets in there. One, two, three, four, and five. Now our double crochet right here in that space we're going to do a single crochet into that space then right here our next one we're going to put five double crochets in there one two three four and five our last double crochet right here on this end our right into that space we are going to put a single crochet and now we're going to move along to the other side and now we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side we're going to skip two of them and double crochet into the space in between the double crochets here we're going to skip two double crochets go right into the space here and put five double crochets one two three, four, 
and 5. Skip 2, single so crochet into the space. Skip 2 and put 5 double crochets right into the space. We're always going into the space. 2, 3, 4, and 5. <coughs> now we're going to skip 2 again and single crochet. And we're going to repeat that same pattern, skipping two, five double crochets, skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets, skip two, single crochet. And continue that all the way to the end, and I'll meet you at the very end before I attach this, right here at the very end. So work all the way up there, and I'll meet you back over here with the other side. Skip two, five double crochets. Skip two, one single crochet. That's three, four, five. Skip two, one, two, single crochet. Skip two, five double crochets into the space. And just continue repeating that same pattern. So here I am back at the other end and um, we pretty much only have the double crochet to do. So what we're going to do is skip two and we're going to last stitch right here. We're going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five and right here where it begins the other the fan here we are going to single crochet right into this space right here you want to just single crochet right in there and we're just gonna fasten off from here so get your scissors cut your yarn and what I like to do is feed it right through and pull tight. Now, here's the end of ours. We're going to sew in that loose end. And we are pretty much done with this scarf. All we have to do now is, what you're going to do now is go here. And you're going to look, this part I'll probably put the buttons because the holes are smaller. And this side will be the opening of the holes. So you're going to look at each side and you're going to find the one that has the bigger holes. And that's the side that the buttons are going to go overlapping the hole. You know what I mean? Like it's going to go right in there and it's going to like face right there. So you want the side that has the smaller ones to sew on your buttons. Now, i got to find my buttons. I don't know which ones I'm going to probably use for this project. Hmm. I want something pretty, 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 pretty. I'm going to go with these. Those are pretty. So you want to sew on your button pretty much. Or that. That looks nice too. Sew on your buttons on this side. And then what you're going to do is just connect it. Make sure it's in the right way. You'll sew on your button. Connect it just like so on both sides. You want to put two buttons and then you have your scarf. You wrap it over your neck just like so, and it becomes your crown. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, subscribe below. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me.
leave a message, a comment. Um, you could even uh, message me on Facebook. I'm always on Facebook. If you have any little small questions, I'm always there um, to help with any project. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.